Getting older doesn't mean life is over. In fact, we show that every Thursday night in our Super Senior segment when we profile aging Vermonters doing extraordinary things. And Rachel Hellman has seven days. You and your colleagues also found some amazing Vermonters staying on the job, finding new outlets for their passions, and living longer, healthier lives. Which ones stand out most to you? Yeah, we had such a wonderful and wide variety of seniors that we ended up profiling. Um, um, but some of the more um, subtle ones really stood out to me. We have an 85-year-old truck driver who's still going strong, and that to me is an amazing feat. Um, and I got to interview a man named Wayne Lemire, who is 78 and still um, producing hay every single day. And hearing about his life and and his love of his land was really special to me. But we have we have all sorts of folks that we're we're showing. We have a rabbi turned comedian. Um, and older folks who are still doing, um, you know, through hiking. So we got a lot of great, great features in this issue. How many people did you profile and why? What sparked your interest in finding these uh, seven boundary pushing seniors, if you will? Well, we chose seven because whenever we do roundups, we, we do seven because seven days. So it's, it's right on the nose for us. <laughs> And the reason that we did this feature is it's part of our um, year-long series we're doing on Vermont's aging population. So we've already produced a few stories that kind of look at how our entire state is changing as a result of um, the increasing number of folks who are entering old age. We're going to be one of the oldest states in the country um, in a few short years. And uh, there's so many ways that our um, culture and landscape is shifting as a result. And uh, one of the ways is that people are working you know, into old age and, and doing interesting things and living full lives. Uh, retirement is is not necessarily the status quo anymore. And we thought this was an interesting opportunity to look at a few folks who are already kind of rethinking old age and, and either extending or starting a new um, passion projects or um, careers that that you know they have no plans of stopping despite their age. They're giving us all hope, Rachel, and your story's out in seven days. Thank you for sharing. Thanks for having me.